Hi everyone, I'm Yasha and welcome to the 26th episode of Election Scoop. Today we'll be talking about something very important, voter turnout. Voter turnout is a measure of the percentage of registered voters who go to the polls and cast their ballots. Now the whole point of elections is when the vast majority of the populace votes, meaning that our representative democracy, the politicians that represent us, is truly the voice of all the people. But this is not always the case. According to Pew Research, average voter turnout in the US is around 86%, but only if you follow the conventional definition of the word, that it is a measure of all registered voters who cast their ballots. But millions of voter eligible adults don't register to vote, something that this number doesn't take into account. And when you take into account every adult in the U.S., including those that are not registered to vote, America's real turnout rate is only about 55%, which is kind of at the bottom of the list of turnout rates in Western democracies. The best country was Belgium, where 87% of all adults took advantage of their constitutional right to vote in the last election. So what about the U.S.? What do patterns of turnout look like state by state? Well, the states with the lowest voter turnout, where turnout was at or under 50%, were Hawaii, California, Arizona, Utah, West Virginia, and Texas. If you notice a pattern, that's because, with the exception of Arizona, all these states are politically safe. Hawaii and California, as everyone knows, are solid blue, and Texas and Utah are very red. Now, let's look at the states where voter turnout is highest, say above 65%. These states are New Hampshire, Maine, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Colorado. Now these are all, to an extent, swing states. States that have a good chance of supporting either candidate in a presidential election, as well as for state and local races. So why do low turnout states tend to be safe, and why do high turnout states tend to be competitive? One reason for this is that candidates run ads in competitive states and try a lot harder to shore up support to swing these key states in their favor, thus getting more people off the couches and into polling stations. But while it is true that states have high turnout because they are close, it may also be the case that states are close because they have high turnout. It's possible that if Texas or California had much higher turnout, we would see races become more competitive as people who don't usually participate in the political process get out and vote. Most times, people are afraid to make their voices heard because they are in such safe states and don't think their voices can make a difference. While in competitive states, people know that they have a lot of support whichever side they are on. The conclusion? Get out and vote. You don't have to love your candidate, and you don't have to have strong opinions on every race or proposal that's coming up for ballot, but it's always good to make your voice heard and participate in the political process. So thanks for watching, and remember, don't forget to vote.